You talk about brands like Burberry. I mean, they obviously are saying that it's been a struggle in China. But you say the brand itself really resonates when it comes to being a very made in UK, made in Britain brand that really has still has quite a bit of leg. Absolutely, um, because we talk about the changing tastes of Chinese consumers, and this is in that context. That Burberry, you know, if, for example, what are the changing tastes? If you look at the Chinese consumers now, they are not just buying luxuries to show off. You know, they are just for status. They are now actually buying something, buy a piece of history, buy heritage, and then the Brit Britishness actually is the heritage that Burberry can 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 use to sell. And my research has show that the Chinese consumers, when you talk about Burberry or when you talk about Britishness, they remember them three things. First is the Queen, <laughs> and secondly uh, is uh, Beckham, and third is Burberry. So clearly, the, these are the very important factors which make them uh, wanting to buy luxuries. And the second change in taste in chi Chinese consumers is actually they want to experience it. They want to experience luxury. They don't just want to have a handbag in their, in, you know, in their hand and then show off to their friends. So it's not just about I need to get this Hermes crocodile style bag anymore. It's really it's not even about exclusivity. It's about you said an experience, really. Exactly. It's not about exclusivity anymore. It's about sensory pleasure. It's about experience. That's why they go to Britain. That's why they travel. That's why the tourists are spooming in, in actually in the UK, for example. And although Burberry might have declined their sales in, in China, for example, but they actually their, their sales in, in the UK abroad are still doing really well. Mm -hmm. And they still have the European market uh, very well. And if you look at European market, they are not European customers so much. They are actually Chinese customers. Yes, they're just right? heading to Europe, right? Exactly. <laughs> so I think what they should worry more about is how to make their retailing outlets in China somehow more attractive to the Chinese consumers so that they don't have to go abroad. At the moment, uh, they have this lovely Regent Street in London mm -hmm. uh, that combines technology with luxury, with heritage. So that's the third change in taste of Chinese consumers. It's actually they are very much pro technologies they are more so than perhaps the rest of the uh, the world in terms of luxury consumers i was going to talk about this recent uh, initiative from burberry to partner with snapchat and they were kind of showing their new spring summer collections uh, 24 hours on the on the app before they actually debuted on the runway at london fashion week do you think this is a great way to kind of tap into the social media active users Absolutely, absolutely. The, the social media now is such an important channel for luxury products. People already, they used to have a debate, this, that debate is already gone. You know, people all know that social media is so important for Burberry. Burberry is actually leading the way in social media. If you think about the Beijing runway show, where they use holographic um, technologies to combine real experience with imaginary experience. And that is very catchy. That actually increases the experiences we talk about. This sensory experience of, of, of luxury products. It's interesting you said luxury companies can use technology but tech cannot use them. Why isn't that a mutual thing? Well, this is really good debate that we look at Apple iWatch, right? We, we look at how much they try to get into or hack into this luxury sector. You know, we look at, uh, we look at you know, uh, Hermes as well. Uh, I, Apple now selling iWatch in Hermes stores. So that just such a, such effort is made by technology leaders like Apple to get into luxury sector. Hmm, uh, exactly. But that is not going to to change the fact that technologies are technologies, they are not luxury. Okay. Because the very essence of luxury is timelessness. Luxury stays yeah. still. All right.